Durst the worst. Oh, Durst the worst. Durst is the worst. Durst 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 the worst. Looks like he's got a fat ass. For you to do that, you know, we might have a lot of differences. You guys better go home and kick your Ma's underwear hole. Mom's basement's calling. Yeah. Time for your afternoon nap. Call your mom. Tell her to go to the no, that's not gonna happen here. What? No need to instigate shit. We're having a good time right here. What? Well, let's just let's just keep it cool. Let's keep it cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's back with his under mom's underwear. Yeah. Back up, my guy. We're having a civil conversation. You don't need to instigate anything. Is that your mom's underwear that keeps going now? You too. <laughs> Look, like I said, I respect the fact that you're here. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, you guys get the truck stop, too. I think you have a great right here. You're pretty nice. But I don't think anyone's in this case. I agree with that as well. I agree with that as well. And we're being it. Can I give you a hug? Nah. No. Right. Well, I mean, I, you know, I will pray. For, I will pray for you guys, though. I will pray for you guys. What do you guys do? I don't think hugger simply because of my size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's, um, yeah. Do you guys believe in God? No. Yes, so you're pretty much godless, is what you're saying. Yeah, I'm a godless, immoral. You're running himself well. Yeah. Basically, the devil, you know, in your eyes. Are you restless, irritable, and discontent? Oh yeah, I'm all those things. Okay, I will pray for you. We're the little bank too All right. Well, good luck, you guys. I'll let you know where I got them if you want them. If you like them so much. But I, I will pray for you because obviously you're suffering from a spiritual malady that I can tell that's eating you from the inside out. Definitely. And I, you know, I always read. I, I'd rather come to events without covering my face, so I'm not sure why you're here covering your face. I want to go to yeah, I just want to go You know, you seem really cool. Yeah, Mr. Nelly. All right. Why are you hanging out with these guys? Why are you hanging out with these guys? I mean, it's cool to be friends, but I don't like you and I. Yeah. You know. I, if I went, you're really, if, if, you're if, you're if I, right if I, if talk with people. If I wasn't holding on to you, you're the commander. You're the commander. Are you the commander? Yeah, I'm the same. You're the boss. We're all the boss. I tell that. I think you're the only one commander. I don't think he governs. I think he just leads. That's all. I lead. We're not followers. Well, we're followers of each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming for yours. Oops, sorry, bro. It's I'm coming for you. Yeah. You know, you, I want your shoes. I want your shoes. I want your shoes. You know, I want all your people's shoes, and I'm going to give them to who I think you need. Yeah. I bet you do nothing. I bet you do nothing. I'm here to be peaceful. You're, you're, you're up here. Yeah, you did give me permission. Yeah. You <laughs> 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 give me permission. I mean, we the people need to get pissed off. We need to vote. We need to email. We need to make phone calls. We need to rally. We need to stand our ground in our communities and we need to educate those around us. It is time to make our elected officials work for us again. We can only do this if we stand together, united, and make some noise. That 1B, it's annoying, and it can get swatted. You know what? It's time to come together and be in that noisy swarm that they're so damn afraid of. Thank you.
<laughs> All right, thank you, everybody. If kids had guns, you know that they had, well, they had shooting at school, at public school, you know, like it's an extracurricular after school. You know, so kids did have guns. There's, there's photographic evidence of it from the 1950s. I think what we had was a huge cultural change and a huge shift of mentality in our country. What else shifted in the country since 1965? Well, maybe it was getting rid of all of the mental institutions that had a huge impact on uh, homeless rates, which is really It's one thing, certainly one thing. It made a big difference. Yeah. Anything else or? In the 60s? 1965. Uh, probably all these states illegalizing marijuana and all that, like sweeping across the board. And you just brought back the parking board, which is a good thing. You're trying, bitch!